Hello everyone and welcome to Roma Rectum 2. Today we are continuing the Roman campaign, what else? And uh, we've been doing good and um, I was actually thinking to myself, you know, it's been some time since I played this, being busy with the school and while well, having now graduated it, I played a lot of Victoria um, as well. So, you know, I was like thinking, what are we actually going to do? And then I realized that we... That we... Have a party on its way to Carthage. Yay. Actually, we're about to, uh, you know, proceed with a little bit of a red wedding over here, I think. Uh, this is not the the big show. That's just the, the one to sort of make them realize that we're coming. Hopefully, they'll muster a big army uh, in preparation for this one. Oh, shit. It's like a mercenary army. Okay, well, I guess that works as well. Uh, talking about a red wedding. Did you, get, did you guys see the, the uh, latest Game of Thrones episode? Reigns of Castamere. God damn it. It's horrible. GG, Starks. Um, you know, not entirely GG, but still. it's They're definitely not in a better position than they were before. <sighs> Poor everyone. Um, besieging a little fort over here. They're going to be killed easily. Look, Dunon is doing good as well. Now we have a new front against Carthage. This is really good. Sure. This guy's going to scout for us a bit. They're actually qu quite prepped, but it seems like the G Gelsi army here, which looks pretty cool, which should be Spanish, I think. Looks like it stands there with a big staff of a sort, or a harpoon, to fight the Carthaginians with. Um, and uh, on this flank, we're kind of taking it slow. I want to deal with the West first. Let's see if we can get a peace with Greece once we're done with all this stuff. Probably expecting an attack here anytime soon. Batavian is feeling cheesy right now. Not sure why. I'm going to tax them less, because... Oh. It's not good, is it? Growth. Yeah, that'll make him happy. Yeah, everyone's been a bit cocky yesterday, or recently, should I say. Um, especially around there up at the north. You never know what's going to happen. Capua is feeling cheesy as well. Like, what's going on, guys? Come on. Get up on your feet. Stand up straight and do it for Rome. Take a little pounding for Rome, you dummy. So anyways, let's end the turn. It's always in order. Now that I've gone through everything that's going to happen. Yeah, so, um, if you haven't watched my latest Victoria 2 episodes, there's the 19th and 20th uh, online now. Uh, they've been uploaded yesterday and we've done some pretty cool stuff. I'm thinking of what I'm going to do next. Seleucid Empire. I used to say Seleucid Empire. Natural announcements. Someone got born. Nice. Amount of building, alliance has been done. Rome, oh my god, 4,000 citizens killed in Rome. Well, we do actually have a pretty bad thing going on here. Where the hell is everyone? Alright, this is pretty bad. People have been destroying my buildings, how dare they? And I must get some Polybian Roman cohort to come in here and fix it, along with a Tribunus Militi to, to sort things out. Horrible, horrible deeds. What happened? Did the guy just die? I mean, sometimes your dude is gonna pass away, the city's gonna turn into like a military controlled construct kind of thing, and that's gonna suck. So, make sure you keep an eye on all your dudes and hope that they do not die and hope that they get a little sun or something that grows up in time for their death to take over their city. Uh... I think we can assault the Greeks now. I'll actually keep them pressed until they surrender. The Arvenians here are neutral with me. Or Arvernians. Arvernians, yes. So let's take a look here at our little mercenary army on its way to Carthage. Ready to crush a little party here. Did we not? Oh, they discovered us. Let's prepare the siege then, right? Let's get some of these going. Actually, we can't... Alright. Five turns. Well, whatever, right? As soon as this army arrives, that'll decrease in time heavily. Trade going on here, that's nice. I didn't know they had these little carts in Rome. I thought that was only in uh, Medieval. But that's cool, that's good to know. Look, Dunnan, um, yeah, let's go ahead and win the attack. We can beat them quite easily here. All, all we need is a ram. 
I mean, they're practically already dead. But I do want to take a look at the Greek fort they built out here in the snow and the waste. You know, that'll be interesting. Is that Macedon? Or is that a Macedonian king right there? It looks like. Looks like Alexander almost. I don't know. The helmet and all. I could imagine it could be. I'm not sure. I don't know the flag. It could be Byzantine as well with the purple and all and the, the masks. But I, I'm not sure. Nice to see a new screen though. Well, you see, that's a pretty small fort. That's what I expected it to look like, though. Ram. Ram and the bam. This is going to be ridiculous, Lacey. Unless I completely underestimate the enemy. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, that can't stand against my... Ah, attack. The gate. I'm just going to send these guys up to kill, like, entire units. Like, look at that. What the hell? Meh. You know, they could have been Greeks in the loading screen, not sure. I'm running around. I wonder if their little towers on the side are going to shoot at me. I hope not. Seems like they ought to be out of range. They don't seem like they can... They can, but I, I hope they can't shoot sideways. They probably can't. I don't know why they have those towers there. That's kind of stupid. Let's get throwing. Kill a lot of horsemen with this. And the horsemen that they have right now is my current main threat. Although my cavalry can probably counter theirs, but that's some pretty heavy general guard cav there. Mine's pretty much light. Except for the medium heavy cav. They come down so rapidly, look at that, that's incredible. Wow, we're taking down such a big part of their army right now. Our soldiers are at the gates! Now they must batter our way through! Oh, I'm saving these. So these are different. One of them are allied, and the other ones are just regular legionary ones. The red shield and the white shield. The same with these guys. Allied Republican cohort and Polybian Roman cohort. Someone teach me what the difference is. I'd like to know. See if we can... Can we kill the entire unit? I only think it kills a percentage, so that's technically a waste of ammunition, so to speak. Nice! Has it? Come on, get him! Get him! <laughs> Look at them running around. No idea what to do. I like it. Panic. Panic spreads among the ranks. Oh. Nope. Nope. Send these guys in here behind just for fun. Let's go. Try not to make this a long siege. I have the tendency to to be able to sort of turn the shortest battles into the to the longest. Alright, we're engaged. We're engaged. Alpha Bravo, Mike, zero, zero, 006, Julius Caesar. That's actually in Sweden. Julius and Caesar is what we... Um, what we call, like, J and C in, in, like, in code language. Or, you know, you have, like, Alpha, Bravo, Delta. We have, like, A is, like, Alpha as well. B, I think that's... Not sure if that's Bravo. Uh, I think that's, like, Bert Bertil. It's, like, a Swedish common name. I guess Bravo isn't really a name in uh, America though, but um, and then we have J for Julius is for J and Caesar is for C, so Julius Caesar. So it's cool. Like, I was playing Steel Beasts, like that's a game like you plays tanks and all that. If you have Swedish voices on, you hear them like Julius Caesar. JC, I don't know why they would say that, but that's what they do. 
How are you guys doing? Getting hammered out there? Sending my Triarii, my favorites. My favorites. Triarii. Just kill the guy out there. There goes the general. Has been killed. This will surely make his followers waver. Or lay down their arms and just die. Why can't they surrender? It'd be cool if we could just capture them. We don't have the prison thing here. We, we never capture soldiers. Well, let's just full out kill them. Oh, so we have to go in here and... Oh, shit. What if I lost the battle not seeing these guys? Guys, if we stand exactly still like this, they won't see us. Oh, god damn it. I think we just lost like three horses attacking that. Four horses, even. Four horsemen, should I say. There we go. Clear victory. Um, I killed a fair deuce. A <laughs> fair deuce, a fair amount. Then came the ensigns, encompassing. So these are Bavarian. Look at them. Look at the heads. Oh, looking at each other like. Eh. I I don't think the head freezes in the post. Does it really freeze in the pose or in the like the the smile or facial expression you were having? I'm wondering if it does or not. I don't know. I can't. I can't know for sure. Got big armies nearby here, so I'm gonna send these guys into Lugdunen. Lugdunen. Sounds like a place in England. Lugdunen. I don't know. Maybe in Scotland even. Um, we'll leave it at like that. They can take that fort if they want to. I don't really care about that. I got more important things to put my mind on. That's a very impressive rap. Because I'm so important. Alright. Kapua. We'll leave it at that. Roma. Shit, yeah, right about that, Rome. You're, you're kind of messed up. We'll just end that turn and hope that you recover. Bononia knows that they cannot expand and therefore they are pissed. Really do not want a war against them, but I know I could defeat them with that one army there, most likely. Is Rome okay now? Yeah. Look at that. They got more people. Look at his haircut. What the fuck? That's it's not very Roman, if I may. And the turn report is less now. That's good. City expense are rich here. High taxation? No, you must be mad. Medium, if I may. I don't want anyone being discontent, but if they can handle medium taxation without being dumb in the head, then I will allow it. Let's get some more of these guys up and going, right? What's it like here? Medium taxation, they know how to do it. Medium, low Akragas just increase the population. Low in Capua, just because they're pissed and they don't have a governor. Low in Syracuse, medium, they can handle that. Medium, medium growth build policy. Low in Crotona, they can handle medium. Medium in Tarentum, low in Massalia, they can't even handle that. Medium, medium growth. Medium, medium, low. Good, and then we're back at go. So, that's nice. I will now take this dude and send him to Capua. The governorless area. Apparently, I sent the other guy. No, I didn't. Just. No, oh, but they have one. Well, who would. Crotona doesn't have one, right? There's one down here that doesn't have one. They have one. Tarentum. Can I? They don't even look old. What's what's wrong? All right, that one doesn't have one. General, Imperator, Just passing along, coming along. They can handle that. They're pretty. They're pretty happy. Akragas has expanded as well. Whoa! Did did shit just go down? Economy and cultural building. I think that's what made it expand. We've got Palace of the Legatus. It's nice. But no, we have not reached the this thing here. Pro Council Band. Yeah, no, we, we're going to have to keep expanding until we can. So, but about this time, 500... Was it AUC or was it BC or something like that? In the in the credits, I looked and that's when they took... Uh, that's when they conquered. Conquered this shit. Or Italy, at least. So, that's nice. Guess we're sort of on schedule. But if we're not, don't come blame me. 